you have to believe. And if that believe in yourself that you can succeed. That means when you are doing the question, you got to believe that you can, you are able to do it. If you don't believe that, it's going to be very difficult for you to master maths. It's like you're on a plank walk, walking between two buildings. If you believe you're going to fall, you're going to fall. Same thing, if you believe you're going to fail, you're going to fail. So the first thing is you got to believe. Because if you don't believe, your problem sums, you will immediately switch off. Correct? Nah? If let's say you ask yourself, when you see a problem sum that's long, huh? you say, oh, Lama, very difficult. Lah. I think I better not do. That means you are really giving up home. If you want to do well in maths, if let's say now your parents force you to attend this tuition, then I'm just sorry for you guys. Lah. You got to ask, you got to push yourself because you know, you know what happens if you don't do well in maths. Let me tell you. Okay, this is actually happening in Singapore society. Mathematics now will determine the type of course you will take in the future. If you do well in maths, you can take the sciences, the pure sciences, you can become doctors and whatnot. It's the streaming process. You don't do well in mathematics, automatically your ranking will go down, you'll get lesser, uh, less good streams. So you'll be put as a disadvantage. And some people say, you know, Malays, Muslims, we are not good in maths. It's not true. Lah. Okay, algebra is actually created by the Muslim. So the first one is believe. Eh? Second one, you need to practice. There's two types of practice. Okay, one is called repeated practice. That means same type of sums. If you do, you'll be very fast. The other one is varied practice. Different types of problem sums you practice. This one will, this one really depends on your belief. Lah. If you find that you're only doing the same type of sums, that means you have a belief problem. You got to fix that. You got to fix it. How to fix? Okay, we can go through together, but you got to first of all believe. When I was failing maths in SEC 2, honestly, this is a true story. What happened is at SEC 1 was still okay because SEC 1 syllabus is partly 50%, you know, is P6 syllabus. But no one taught me algebra and all that. By the time I reached sec two, the teacher, I do not know what the teacher was explaining is here. No, in school, in, in class. The teacher's going like very fast and I don't know what's happening. And the teacher's not going to stop. I think you know that, right? And so what happened? What happened? I started to fail. I failed quite badly. But in my heart, I believe that I can succeed. It took me two years self-study, yeah, not tuition, eh, to finally get A1 at O levels. But to the, at the expense of the other subjects. Okay, enough of pep talk. Here we go. We're going to start straight with a revision of um, last year's... Okay, this is now... We want to do paper one. Huh? This will tell you how prepared you are. All right? This is now paper one. Let us see. Huh? You have an exercise book. We'll move on straight. Huh? Okay. Roughly from here. Can you arrange in descending order? You can use your calculator, you can use whatever, but arrange it in descending order. Okay, one minute, okay? Descending means big to small, huh? You must understand what this means. Huh? This thing, or what does it mean? Later on, we'll go through. Lah. If you're not so sure, we'll go through. Okay, you got answer, eh? Not yet. Shafi, you got answer, eh? Not yet. Inshallah, you got answer, eh? Okay, Inshallah. Uh... Ryan, you got answer? Okay, unmute, unmute yourself, unmute yourself. Okay, let's, let's have a discussion now. Very quickly, descending big to small, which one is the biggest? Can this first one be the biggest or not? Logically. You must look at the side. If, okay, I'm just revising in case you're not sure. If there's no number, like whole number here, one, that means it's zero. This is zero point something. That means this is 
more, this 1.73 is bigger than this. So this is out. This cannot be the biggest. One point something possible. This is zero point something. You know, it's out. This is zero point something. You know, it's out. So it's between these two. You use your calculator. One point one three four. You get one point seven five. So one seven five and this. This is the biggest is number one. This one is second. Now we need to compare between one, two, and three. But what oh. does this mean? Zero, zero point three dot. Now this is where you need to be very clear. 0.3 dot. This means, dot down here means recurring number. It happened over and over and over. This means 0 0.3333333 never ending. In fraction, this is 1 over 3. If you don't believe, can you use your calculator? 1 divided by 3 was your answer. Can you try? You all know that 0 0.3333333. Right? So this is now recurring number, never ending. Second one, 0 0.31. Let's say you have a dot down here, dot down here. What does it mean? This means it's 0 0.31, 31, 31, 31. If let's say 0 0.312, they have a dot like that, if you see like that. You know what it means? It means 0 0.312, repeated from here. 312, 312, 312. So when you see a dot on top, it means recurring. Recurring means it will repeat itself. So let us look at the question again. We know this is number one, this is number two. So let us see 0 0.3 dot is 3333. And then 0 0.33 is just like that. Three, there's another three, yeah? And the third one is 33 over 100. Okay, I'm just going to show you now. 33 over 100 is 0 0.33. If you're unsure, just use a calculator. So from here, you can compare 0 0.3 dot above 0 0.3333. This is bigger than this. And this one is bigger than this. So let us go back to the... Now, if you're confused, please send me a private message on the Zoom. Okay, this is the this is the biggest among the three. Then, second biggest, and then the smallest. So, biggest, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now, you may feel embarrassed, but if you do not know, send me a private message so that I can I can try to uh, you know arrange for something for you. Okay. So, what do you write here? Remember, you do not write. The value you must write exactly. You say one, three, four. You must write one, three, four. You must write exactly as what the question gives you. Second, one point seven three, one point seven three, and so on, so forth. Now, okay, prime numbers we are not going to do. We're not going to do. Okay, let us try now. Six minutes as a percentage of two hours. You all know how to use the message, the chat. Huh? Please send me your answers through the chat in Zoom, not. WhatsApp, huh, please. Huh? In Zoom now. What is your answer? You can use your calculator, please. Oi. <laughs> okay, you're right. If you got answer, don't say out answer, please. Just send me your answer on the chat. You know how to send on chat, Shafi, you know, right? Don't know whether you know, you're just looking like that. Oh, uh, I know, I know. You know, huh? Uh, Ryan, you know? Uh, yes, huh? You I send me on chat. Okay, okay, I do not want the answers to be told. You send private message, huh? Okay. They want as a percentage, Mr. Shafi'i. You're not reading the question carefully. Come on. You're not giving me percentage. Inshira, you can send me a message, Inshira. Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much. One minute more. Otherwise, I will explain. Eh? Okay, thank you. One more person. Well, she sent by WhatsApp. Okay, all right. No problem, no problem. You can say there's a Zoom function there. Uh, all right. So let us see what is percentage. First of all, you need to understand percentage. When you are going to become an adult, you need to know percentage. You might take bank loan. Yes, percentage. You go to buy houses. For sure, you're going to buy a house, right? You cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You need to know percentage. What is percentage? Percentage is fraction. Percentage is fraction with a base of 100. That is what it is. So if let's say I tell you it's 5% or 10%, this means 5 over 100. This means 10 over 100. That's what it is. So now they tell you that 6 minutes, is it? 6 minutes out of 120. Okay. 6 minutes out of 120. So you write it as a fraction. 6 minutes out of 2 hours is 120 minutes. Just times by 100. Or if you're not sure, you can also, okay, you can times, take any fraction times by 100, you get percentage straight. Okay, that's one way. Another way, if you're confused, take 6 divided by 120. You use your calculator, you divide, divide, you get, okay, down here you get uh, 1, 1 over 20. So 1 over 20 is a fraction. If we change the base to 100, you times by 5, you times by 5, you get 5 over 100. 5 over 100, this is 5%. You see, 5% is the same as 5 over 100. Can you see this? 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 5%. 5 over 100 is 5%. 7 over 100 is 7%. So down here is 5% when you times it. Okay? If you do not understand this, you must watch this video. I'm going to upload this video on YouTube. Don't worry. No one, is going to no one else is going to watch this video. All right? You have the choice to watch this video. But if you do not want to watch this video, I cannot force you, okay? I'm not going to force you, and I'm not going to give homework also. Okay, let's try. Can you try now? What is the angle X equal to? Once you're done, send me your answer by uh, Zoom or even you want to WhatsApp, no problem. Lah. No problem, okay? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Shafi. Shafi, you're in uh, Aljuni or Arabia? Um, Arabia. Arabia. Your sister is going to Aljuni. She's going to become Ustazah, you're not going to become Ustad. Who's the principal at Arabia? Eh? I don't, he doesn't know. Okay. All right, send me your answers, send me your answers. Let's see. Okay, well done, Ryan. We're waiting for Inshira. Inshira. Inshira also sent her answer. Let us see. Okay, no problem. Okay. Now, we do like, this is like a straight line. Okay, straight line. This is a straight line. So that means this angle down here is equal to this angle here. So what does it mean? This means that, okay, I'm going to put it here. This means that there's 2x, 3x, x, all together 6x. 2 plus 3, 5x. 5x plus x, 6x. 6x equals to 120. What is x? x is equals to 120 divided by 6 equal to 20. 
Okay na? Okay na, Ishra? You sure? Huh? From your face? Yes, sir. If you don't know, you must you must tell me, okay? Then maybe we'll... This, I'm just running through sec one, okay? So we may have to revise some and whatnot. Uh, try number six, please. Okay, ratio, ratio. Once you're done, send me answers. Okay, I have a team that you have more than him. Okay. All right, congratulations, Mr. Shafi'i. Okay. Ryan, okay, not Ryan. And all right, let us see them. Okay. So let us go step by step, okay? Now. They, the question says, this is the ratio. Four, that's team, four shares. 80 is seven. Jean is 11. The difference, they say, between KT and Tim, the difference is 5.4 kg. The difference. But what's the difference here? Seven, four. The difference is seven minus four, three. So three units is 5.4 kg. You find one unit. It's 5.4 divided by 3. You get 1.8, is it? 1.8. And then you want to find how much this gene has. Take 11 times 1.8. You will get 19.8, I think. Let me see. The answer is 19.8. Ryan, okay, Ryan? You get it, Ryan? Huh? The difference on here, they say difference between KT and Tim is 3 units. The difference is 5.4 kg. So three units is 5.4 kg. One unit, 5.4 divided by three is about 1.8 if I'm not mistaken. Then they ask you to find how much the gene have. So one unit is 1.8. 11 units is 11 times 1.8. You get 19.8 kg. Okay, if you are a little bit confused, you got to revisit the video or message me separately, okay? So my number, what's my number? I, my number has not changed huh, through all these years. If you need to, if you got issues, you can contact me at nine seven seven three nine four four one. Okay, you can contact anytime. Okay. All right. Now we go back now to this percentage again. Now percentage. The main problem is hundred percent. You must know what hundred percent is. Eh? Okay. Try this.
Good. Okay. Well done to two. We are still waiting for one more person. Okay. I sometimes I may not want to say who got it right or not, because as you're growing older, you are getting more and more sensitive. Huh? You may not know why. Okay. Well done. All four, four, three of you got um, 460s. Well done. Okay. So down here, just to run through. Okay. All of you got it correct. So down here now. After a discount of 25%, that means this selling price is 75%. So you want to find 100%. So you know how to do, I won't explain. Eh? Congratulations. Now, this is something that you need to, okay, you need to know of, okay, you try, conversion. Conversion, you try, eh? This down here is called euro, euro dollar. I think you should know it's the uh, currency used in Europe. That means any country in Europe that's part of the European Union, they can use that money. You can put it into the nearest dollar, lah. Okay. To the nearest dollar or the nearest cent or something. Let's see. We have some answers now. Okay. Well done. One of you. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Anyone else? We are waiting for one more person. So now down here, I'm just going to explain. Uh, okay, I'll explain, okay? Here we go. Now, dealing with money, very simple. You need to know this because you will be traveling overseas. The world has changed. You cannot be in Singapore all alone. And Singapore is dependent on trade. So you need to know. Let's say now, Singapore now, they say they are uh, ringgit. Let's say ringgit is three ringgit to one Singapore dollar, right? And you have 10,000 ringgit. You want to change it to Singapore dollar. How to do? Well, you know, first of all, look at the relationship. Which one has a bigger value? Singapore one dollar is three ringgit, so Singapore has a bigger value. Now, when you change from ringgit to Singapore dollar, this money must become smaller because Singapore dollar is bigger in value. So how to do this? Okay, let's say now, down here now, you can say, you can either take 3 divided by 1 or 1 divided by 3. One of them is the answer. If you want to find a smaller number, is it 1, 3 or 3 divided by 1? Is 1 third correct? That means you take the Singapore dollar, you divide by the ringgit, right? Then you get that. So this is like one third lah. One third of the 10,000 ringgit. And then you will be able to get your answer. So now let us look at the question here. Same thing now. You have the conversion rate is here. $1 is 0 0.5998 euros. So now, what to do? Do you take one divide? Okay, do you take one divide by 0 0.5, 5998, or you get 0.5998 divided by one? Now you want to find the price in Singapore dollars. 
ask yourself which one you have to have more of. That means if it's one euro, is it going to be more Singapore dollars or less? If it's more, that means your answer, your conversion must be more. So down here, you just take one, divide by this. You take, you try one, divide by 0 0.5998. What do you get? You will get hold on, huh? one divided by 0 0.5998. You will get this number here. 1.67667. This means one euro is equal to this amount. One euro dollar is equal to one dollar and 66 cents Singapore dollars, roughly. Okay, so I write down, for example, uh, so it means uh, one euro, down here, I'll write it down on the board. Uh, once I divide, first thing I do step by step, uh, I take one euro, okay, I divided one euro by zero, uh, one Singapore dollar by the euro, zero five five nine nine eight or something. Uh, then I get 1.667 roughly. That means one euro is equals to 1.667 Singapore dollar. So if you're 900 euros, equals to 1.667 times 900. Okay, then you will get the answer like Mr. Ryan gave us. It is 15, 1,550 dollars. Okay, from your look, I can see there's a little blur look now. Okay, so we we just uh, okay down here you ask yourself you want the, you know is nine hundred euro that is the price of the bag. When you change it to Singapore dollars, are you gonna get more or less? You have to get more because one one Singapore dollar is zero point about fifty nine cents euro. That means euro is bigger in value. So a bigger value, that means your 900 will become more money. So you must find out how much is one euro. One divided by this, you get the amount in euro. One euro is this amount of Singapore dollars. So one euro, 1.667, 900 euros just times 900. But my suggestion is do not convert it to 1.667. Use the number on your calculator straight, and then from here you times by nine hundred. Then you will get like this. If you convert like that, one point six six seven. Let's see, one point six six seven. You see, I thought we had one point six six seven. I times by nine hundred. I get a different figure, slightly less, twenty cents less. So the more accurate answer is the one that you use the working in the calculator and time straight. Let me see. Uh, Shafi, you get it, Shafi? Don't get it. <laughs> Is it wrong? A bit. A bit. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll revisit that. Okay, this is one, one area we will, I think. Ryan, either parts that you don't get it, you can send me a message, tell me which one, so I go through again the next lesson. Huh? So conversion, that means you don't get it. Okay, sequence. Huh? Okay, we try this sequencing. This n term and all, don't worry about it. You try. This next two terms is quite easy. But this one might be a challenge. Let's see. Okay, this one no need to tell me an answer, but you, you you try to come up with an expression. See whether you get it. If not, we will practice over here.
Okay, you got the answer, anyone? So you plus five, plus five, plus five, 70 plus five, you plus five, you get 27, right? You plus five, you get 32, right? So you know how to do this one. This is quite easy. This one now, how to find the n term? Can you, anyone got answer? N term. You got to understand what they mean by N term. I'm not national N term, huh? please. Huh? Let's say N term now. We're going to come to this now. 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, 32. Okay, one by one. Ryan can get it. Can? Cannot. Um, Shafi can get it. Cannot. Inshira can get it. No, okay. So this is something I will focus on. Huh? Now, once you see this, you can see this, right? This is the first term. Say what is first term? They are talking about position. This is the second term. This is the third term. Four, five, six, seven. N term is any term. The X term. What is the X term? Is any term. Say they want you to give a formula. When they tell you like that, huh? When they tell you like that, give the expression. They ask you, are asking you for a formula, you know. See what sort of question it is. Look, this is very important. Why? You know, you, you know that YouTube, I, I put up some videos on YouTube and I use some music and I thought it's okay, use some music. The moment I upload the, the, the video, they send me a message, copyright infringement. Have you ever, I do not know whether you have this YouTube and all uh, channel. When you upload, if you didn't get permission from the owner of the music, they can catch you. How do you think they get all that? They use mathematical formula you know, to immediately track. So what we are doing, these patterns and all, they will use it in their programming. So actually it's very important for you to understand the concept. Huh? So now let us now, if you know this is first term, second term, third term, let us write now. First term, first term is two lah. Okay, two, all right. Second term, let us look at the pattern. Second term, seven. Ah. Seven is, how do we get from two? Oh, plus five lah. Two plus five. Correct, right? Nah? Can see, nah? can ah? Third term. Third term, two plus ten lah become 12 correct but can we try to to see whether there's any pattern or not see what pattern well this one is five times two lah. oh yeah two times five plus two times two five times two is ten okay fourth term fourth term let's see two plus how much two plus 15 or 17 oh, oh okay but this one can we write using five five times five? oh five times three lah. Can see that? Can you see the pattern? The next one, fifth term. Inshira, you tell me what is the formula? Two plus five times times four. Times four. Look at look at the look at the pattern, huh? Third term times two. Fourth term times three. Fifth term times four. Shafi, if I ask you for ten term, two plus five times what? Look at, look at the uh, pattern. Nine. Nine. It's always one less. Ryan can see now. It's always one less. If the tenth term, you times nine. If the fifth term, you times four. If the fourth term, you times three. If the third term, you times two. If the second term, you times one. Lah. Oh, correct. Huh? If the first term, you times zero. Lah. Is it correct? Five times zero is zero plus two. Correct? Lah? Can you see now? There is a formula. So how do we write this formula? Or oh, how we write the formula? Huh? Okay, let's see. Okay, so n term. N term, okay, 2, because all of them will have 2, 2 plus. And then they say that if this is 5 times, must times a number 1 smaller than this. 4, 1 smaller is 3. 5, 1 smaller is 4. 10, 1 smaller is 9. 
and one smaller is anyone what is one smaller than n n 10 no one smaller than n okay how do you get one smaller than two two minus one three minus one get this four minus one get three five minus one get four ten minus one get nine n n minus one n minus one so n minus one now here lah. notice ah, it get a little bit complex ah. <coughs> so two plus we can times ah, five uh, you can do like that this means five times n minus one if you see like that uh, anything let's say two x this means two times x you see two bracket three y it means two times three y if you like that means this is now the n term okay from your looks i see that you might be understanding a little bit so i'm going to give you my own pattern you do this first term second term. then you come out with the formula okay we try yeah we try okay you try you try you try so now they ask you now you must do this first term second term you write down you write down and find the pattern and then you write the n term now here and the n term will be the formula can you try you do until you understand you can do this you can do this remember as i said the first thing is you need to believe if you don't believe that's it lah mati lah you all have grown very serious lah you are the most serious three students that I've met. I'm very scared of you guys. Anika. Anika. See, by her oh, head, yeah, I yeah. know. It's, huh? Zahira. <laughs> Aduh. Zahira, that means there's a pattern, Zahira. When the elder sister study, the younger will disturb. So when you study, don't get angry when Anika disturb. Ryan can do it now, Ryan. Ryan is now, can do it, Ryan, can. Look, first term, you write here. Second term, same thing, plus. Third term, write the six again, plus how much? I mean, you just write, you just write. Okay, we see, we see. Zahira, apa kamu mau, Zahira? Kakakmu sibuk. Let's see, anyone got answer, you can type. If not, I will go through, okay? No problem, okay? Ryan, you getting it, Ryan? Okay, can I, can I? Inshira? Shafi, I feel as if you're grown smaller. Huh? Is it true? Inshira can do Inshira. Can. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Now you wear a scarf. I can't remember how you look like. It's okay. Who is it? Zahira or is Anika disturbing you? Aduh. Zahira, what are you doing, Zahira? Don't sabotage your sister. Ah. Okay, um, where are you at, Ryan? You you finish under 10 term, really? Let me see, let me see. Can you show me your drawing? 
you just show me you put it up like that i take a photo i want to see what you have written okay you need to show me eh? hold on hold on hold on hold on let me wait uh, hold on now don't move don't move don't move don't move don't move don't move yet don't move okay thank you thank you what about shafi what have you done shafi let me see let me see can i see can i see don't be shy okay this is not a place for you to be shy in school can be shy lah. show me show me wow what is he doing Are we... wow okay okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on don't move don't move don't move don't move don't move don't move okay inshira inshira can you show me uh closer close uh hold on hold on hold on hold on Oh, no, 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 oh, no, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Okay, thank you. All right. So now we are going to go through, okay? You see where roughly I can see what you have done. So now, first term is the first one. What do we write? Six. Second term is six plus three. Six plus three is nine, right? Third term, six plus, uh, third term, from from here to here you must plus how many six plus what because you're oh six plus six huh? but i do not want it to be six i want to make it three so three times what equals to six or oh, three times two huh? three times two now the next one fourth term one two three four from six to fifteen six plus what is 15 15 minus six nine six plus nine but i do not want nine i want to Three times something. Oh, three times three is nine. What? Oh, yeah. You can see? The next one now, fifth term. From one, two, three, four, five. From the fifth term, 18 minus six. How much is it? 18 minus six is 12, right? Six plus 12. But I don't want 12. It's three times four. Bracket it up. Oh. Now let us look at the pattern. Let us look at the pattern. The fifth term, you times by four. is one less. The fourth term, you times by three. The third term, you times by two. The second term, you times by one. The first term, you times three by zero. So every time, this is one less. And in the n term, the n term, or the 10 term, the 10 term, the 10 term is 6 plus, Ryan, what's the answer for this? 3 times what, Ryan? The 10th term, 10th term. Nine. 3 times? 9. 9. So, Ryan, one more time. 6 plus N, 1 less than N. N, sorry, 3 times N minus 1. 1 less than N is minus 1. So, you must write it like that in a bracket. So this one, I write it up here. Watch up. 6 plus 3 times n minus 1. You remove this one. Make it close. This is your n term. The value of your n term. Hey, why didn't you tell me? You're not, you couldn't see. I'm writing underneath. So do you get it or not? Roughly, roughly, you get it. You need to practice. This one you understand. After a while, you will forget. For sure. Because this is not like a computer game or whatever game. You will go to it. This one, if possible, you will run away from it. And when you run away from it, you forget. So that's why you need to push yourself. No one can push you. you know, your parents can't push you. You know that. So now let us try number... Okay, let me see. Eh? I think more or less... I think we let us move to sec two work. Sec two. This is now from the book that is owned by Miss Inshira. Inshira, when you're doing this, don't copy all the answer. In school, you do it all over again. Okay? Here we go. Can you tell me what's the answer for the first one? But don't do it inside the book, Inshira. You do on a the paper. Lah. Then in school, at least you revise. Okay, and then you tell me what's the answer. You can't type this on the 
chat, so we will run through in a moment. I will give you another question. You also try this one, huh? So you do the question also that I've typed into the thing. We have about 40 minutes left. It's quite fast, huh? Time flies. Do both, okay? I want this, my question, you give the answer to my question first. Then we go to other questions. Maybe this girl is not joining. Anyone got answer for, for either one? You got answer, just tell me what you said. The answer is just tell what's the answer. Shafi, you got answer. You seem as if you're you're stopped ready. Okay, Shafi, what's the answer for question A? Pardon? Um, I I'm doing it now. Oh, doing it now. Okay, Inshira, you got answer ready? Eh? Inshira, you're lagging. Frozen what? Oh, Inshira, you got answer? No. Ryan, you got answer, Ryan? For A? Ryan, you got answer? If you got answer, just say it out. Cannot hear, cannot hear you. Okay, someone has sent me a message. Let's see. Okay, the first one, okay. We'll go through first one first. Sir. Okay, we give one more minute. You try, you try to complete, okay? Try to complete. Okay, good job to the one who... One minute left, eh? it's a little bit too long to go for one minute. Okay, Ryan. Bottom denominator of the X, mistake Ryan. Not 55, 35. So I think more or less, okay, 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 correct. Well done. Well done, Ryan. Inshara can do, Inshara, the question? No. Um, Shafi can do? Okay, what's your answer, Shafi? You can show me. Uh, or, you can, or you can tell for me. Which one? For the, this one, A, 1 fifth X. Um, 12 over 35 plus. X plus. Yeah. Uh, three over eight y is it okay so okay first of all let us start with very basics with fractions huh? because some may not know some may know let us see whether you know or not if let's say now right two third y normally they write the y like that is this the same as two third y with the y on top or is it two over three y. Any of them the same? One, one, once more, huh? you can see here. Yeah? Can you see the thing? Two over three y. Normally, the right in the center here. Is it same as two y over three or two over three y or none? We'll go one by one. Shafi, what do you say? Is this equal to either one? A, B, or none? Shafi. Shall we please turn on um, the mic? Yes. None. Um, none. None. Inshira, what do you say? None. None. Uh, Ryan? None. None. Okay. Now, all three of you are incorrect. Incorrect means you are wrong, huh? Because it's equal to one. So, what is it? This, when you say half, if I tell you half a cake, half cake eh? i want to buy half cake 
If that means it's the same as k divided by 2. Correct, right? So it's the same as a. So I would want you not to be afraid. Eh? These two are the same. This one is not the same. This one is not the same. You can put the y on top. This means this means 2 times y over 3. This is what it means. Which means 2y over 3. But sometimes we can write it here. Okay, so I want you to remember this and this are the same. Why? Later on, you will not be confused. So let us now go to the question huh, of this one. Okay. So this now, 1, 5, 1, 5, x plus 1, 4, y plus 1, 7, x plus 1, 8, y. Now down here, some of you might not be able to do because you do not know whether it's up or down. So it's up right now. Let's say it's up. Let's say it's up, okay? X over 5 plus Y over 4 plus X over 7 plus Y over 8. Maybe now some of you can do. Why? Because you say, oh, now I make the, the I group together the X together. Okay, I group together. So I just times 5 times 5. Times 7 times 7. So this one becomes 7x plus 5x over 35. This is the same as 12x over 35. Some of you may write it as 12 over 35x. Same thing. Same thing. But if this helps you understand what to do is a fraction question. Then down here now. Remember, the sign is included in front. Huh? You times this by 2, you times this by 2, get 2y. 2y plus y, 3y. 3y over 8. Or you can put 38y. But don't put it, don't put the y here, it's wrong. Okay, huh? Okay, this is a simple fraction question. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to go through much, but we'll go through later. Okay, I hope if you are if you are not okay, please go through again. In uh, we are going to have some down here. Okay, but for this one, the answer. Uh, okay, the answer down here. Okay, I just want you to see. Remember, you group the x together. So six x. This you must include the plus in front. The the sign in front you must include. So it's six x plus seven x. Okay, then y. You must take plus 2y. You must include the plus in front. Then plus 3y. Later on, when you have minus, therefore, you will be able to see. So it's 13, 13x plus 5y. Okay? Now you try now. You try, oh, oh. You try b and, yeah, you try b and c. b and c, you mean Okay, anyone got answer? You can type in your answer. You can. Someone send me a message. Yeah? I... How can I get to my message? I'm not sure. 
sure. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I did the wrong thing. I'm very sorry. Okay. I'm trying to. Sorry, yeah. let me just check. Eh? Hold on. Eh? Is there any message for me? Okay. Um, can you do the first one or not? B. Shafi can do. Inshira can do. Okay, Inshira. Okay. You group the you group the X first. So this I'm gonna circle it, okay? Down here. So you write two third two third X. You can write like that, two third X like that. Okay. Then the next one, remember to group the minus sign or so in front. Every number has a number sign, you know, has a sign. Is it minus or plus? You see, what about the first one? First one will always be plus if there's no sign. So then you put minus one, six, X. Okay. So now it's fraction. You times this by two. You times this by two. So what do you get? 4, 6x minus 1, 6x. Then you can do. Do the same thing for this one. Do the same thing for this one. Okay, you try, you try. You try, okay. Okay, we will we'll go through. We'll go through shortly. Yeah, we we'll go through shortly. Okay, I'm gonna show one by one. Inshira, you can figure out while I'm gonna write this question. Then we'll go through one by one because the answers are different. So I want to make sure you understand clearly. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Eh? Now, this is your, your first chapter in SEC2, okay? So, first of all, what do we do? When you get things like this, you must separate the X from the Y, okay? So, now, for me, I when in SEC2, I used to circle. I circle the, the same one together, X. I will, this one is plus, you know? Although there's no sign, in fact, it means plus. Then which one? Right, some here. I don't circle this. If you circle wrongly, you go and circle the wrong sign. Be careful. Ryan, don't cry. And look here, look here, see. Don't cry, yeah? This plus, don't, don't circle the wrong sign. You must circle the sign in front of it. This one. Can? Now, the other one, you can use this one. Okay, so now what I do? I write it down here. Two, two, third, X, Minus one six x. Then after that, how? I have y and this. Okay, so I can I can put this in front if you are more if you are more comfortable with having the plus in front. Okay, put a plus two fifth y minus half y. So how what to do? So now you times by two times by two, you get four over six y. Minus one, sorry, x, uh, x minus one six x plus well you times by two, you times by five, times by five, you times by two, four over ten y minus five what five over ten y. So four minus one, you get three, three over six x. Okay, four minus five. You have four dollars, you utang five dollars. You have four dollars, you utang five dollars, means you still utang one dollar minus one over ten. Why now at this stage? Now, honest, huh? I'm gonna ask you, honest, Inshira, are you lost? Uh, Ryan, are you lost? 
No. So if you understand down here, we can reduce further. Divide by 3, divide by 3. It's going to get half x minus 1 over 10 y. This is actually simple fractions. But you got to be careful about all these signs, which we will check in a moment. Your next question. Okay. Let us try the last question for this one now, for this section, question C. If you're done, you can send me your answer or you can show me or something. Anybody completed? Shafi, you completed it? Eh? What's your answer? Uh, 3, 4 over 5x plus 3 over 14y. I'm sorry to tell you there is a mistake, Mr. Shafi. Can you check? Okay, uh, Ryan, Ryan, let me see. Uh, Ryan, I can't see. Okay, what's the... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ah. Okay, Ryan, show me again. Show me again, Ryan. Ryan, show, show me one more time. Hold on. Ah. Hold on. Ah. Hold on. Ah. Wait, 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 show me. Okay, don't, don't, no, no, don't point. Don't point. Don't move. Ah. Don't move. Ah. Okay, Ryan, thank you very much. Um, You almost there, Ryan. Almost there. Uh, what about Inshira? Inshira can do? You need the question again. Okay, let me see. Okay, all right. Okay, we're going to go through again. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to go through. Eh? Let us see. So I don't think any of you got it correct, but let us try, okay? Let us try. Px minus 6 over 7y plus 4 over 5x minus 9 over 14 y well let us see yeah okay i'm gonna enlarge now watch watch carefully okay now the first thing you do is group them so this x now there's a plus sign in front this one you can plus so you just add together lah. it's like three plus four fifth hey three plus four fifth is three x plus four fifth x what is it for oh, three four fifth huh? x Okay, this one is simple. Lah. Now, this one is the one. Let us see. Eh? First of all, you must understand the concept of utang. No? Some of you, okay, now I ask you now. Minus 6, minus 9, what's the answer? Anyone can, can unmute, just tell me what's the answer. 
Shafi, Inshira, Ryan, Ryan. Um, negative three. Negative three. Hello, you owe six dollars to me. You owe nine dollars to me. Now you tell me you owe me three dollars. How come? Now what sort of person? I'm not going to lend you money anymore. You borrowed six dollars from me on Tuesday, Monday. Nine dollars you borrowed on Tuesday. Now I ask you for my money back. You say you yeah, have the nine dollars you minus the six. I only owe you three dollars. I say you are you betul lah. This one. Ryan, what's answer? Minus, minus thirteen. You owe me thirteen dollars. So you must understand the concept of negative numbers here. This is utang money, utang money. You must utang more money. Okay, down here. Now you see. You utang six seven. You utang some more. You cannot go in minus plus. You must make sure you combine them together. But first of all, let them be times two, times two. So minus. 12 over 14 y minus 9 over 14 y. So you must add this together because you must combine the utang, right? So you get minus 21 over 14 y. Now you can divide by seven. Divide by seven, you get what? Get two. Divide by seven, you get three. Hey, this is minus three over two y lah. This minus one and a half y. Do you get it, Nana? Ryan, you get it? Ryan, get it. Uh, Ryan, I can only see your eyes only. The, uh, normally, I see ladies like that, lah. Some they cover like that. Uh, sh 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 <laughs> Shafi, you understand, Shafi? Inshira, you understand? Inshira, that means you don't understand. Which part you don't understand? Tell me. I will explain again. Which part you don't understand? The um, minus twelve over fourteen y. Minus nine for fourteen y. Okay, now I ask you, ah, uh, minus twelve y minus nine y. What's answer? Don't pluck out your eye, please. You owe twelve dollars. You owe nine dollars. Don't be like your cousin. He's telling me you owe three dollars, ni. He's never going to borrow any more money from me. You owe twelve dollars. You owe nine dollars. You must add them together. You owe. You owe how? Okay. If you are still not sure, you can't understand utang. You dig a hole. Twelve meters. Huh? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Good. So this is equals to utang twenty-one. Why? So now down here, I'm going to show you. Uh, we can combine the denominator. You know. Do you learn not this one in school last time? Okay. I show you. Ah, uh, three over four. Minus one over four. Do you know that you can combine the denominator? Right, three minus one. You know, right? Same thing. We do the same thing, lah. We combine the denominator fourteen minus twelve y minus nine y. That's now you tell me the answer is minus twenty one y over fourteen. Correct, lah. Then we can divide by seven. You get three. Divide by seven, get two. So minus three over two y, which is means three over two is one and a half, right? Correct. If you don't know, then we do like that. Three over, or you take your calculator. Three by two is one point five. So minus one and a half y. Okay, Angela. Okay, so we move on. Okay, guys, you got to practice this on your own, because this is some of this is like earlier levels of fraction, no? Huh? But it's okay. It's okay. So long as now you have reached a stage of maturity. Sometimes when we are younger, in primary six, the maturity have not set in. Other things is in our head. Now, as you're looking at it, you are saying, "Oh my goodness! If only I could understand now, like what I, uh, before, like what I understand now, you would have aced your PSLE, you have aced your SEC one." But there is still time to catch up. But as I said, it is up to you, not your parents. Ah. Huh? Okay. This one, ah, do we want to go? Okay, we we don't go to ah, this one. Sim. Hold on, hold on. Ah, let me see whether I want to ah like this lah. This one better lah. We do question number. This two A and B first. Ah, this will help you a little bit. Shafi, who is disturbing you? Shafika, the younger uh, sister. Sister. Sister, yeah, Shafika lah. No. 
Shaf- Shafia. Ah, uh, the the second last. Oh, second last. Come on, all the younger sisters are disturbing. Eh? Okay, answer for question number 4A. Anyone, anyone, anyone? Shafi, you got answer? Tell it. Say it. Oh, you already messaged me. Sorry, I didn't see that, eh, Shafi. Is it you? Oh, Ryan. Ryan, what happened to the X, Ryan? X have made a disappearance. Come on. The X cannot just disappear. Okay. Okay, what about Shafi for four A? Um, uh, one one over three x. One one over three x. So in okay. In Shira, eleven x over three. Eh? Is it eleven x over three? No, oh, it's one one x over three. Oh, okay, one one x over. Uh, Ryan Rosos is 1, 1, x over 12. Huh? So let us do this one first. Let us do this one. Huh? Okay. 3x over 4 plus 7x over 12. Now, I want you to first of all ask yourself, is this the same or not? Is this the same? Is this question the same like that? If I write 3 quarter x plus 7 over 12 x is it the same same huh this is the same okay you must understand it's the same thing huh? if you write center right above it's the same thing so now make it times three this times three three times three nine nine x so let us combine the base together because 12 12 we can combine it really nine x plus seven x so what do you get you get seven plus um 16 x huh? 16 x over 12 you can reduce divide by 4 divide by 4 4 3 4 over 3 x this is if you do like that that method huh? you get one whole and one third x okay all right now nah? okay not nah, ryan okay huh? we do the next one then next one we got 15 minutes left 15 minutes left we try b <coughs> Okay, anyone got an answer? Shafi, can you do mentally? What's your answer? Um, for x over nine. Allah oh, Akbar. Show off for this guy. No, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good. It's good, it's good. All right, right. Anyone else? Anyone else? So Shafi, what are, what is your weakest area in maths? Which topic? Um, prime number. Prime numbers. Okay, just just now I went went through with the uh sec one, so we may have to let's see. Four. Oh, okay. 
Okay, well done, Ryan. Ainshira, you got the answer for this one? 4x over 9. Okay, well done. Well done. Huh? Now, let us try this one. We go a little bit more complex. Huh? You go, go, go. You don't need to ask, hey, this is tuition. You want to go washroom, whatever, you just go. Okay? But why you turn off your video? Unless you're inside the washroom. Huh? That's a little bit funny. Eh? Okay, let me try. Ryan, X, down like, like that, X, what is the denominator? Any number, it has the denominator of 1. Remember that, eh? it has the denominator of 1. So now, imagine you want... It's like x over one plus then you can you know what to do you know what to do you understand eh? Shafi, you've done mentally what's your answer Ryan, you got the answer? Anyone got answer? They just want you to combine both of them in the same, right? You just want you. Shafi, what's your answer? Um, eleven x minus three over six. Um, Ryan, do you get the same thing? Yes. Yes, huh? Okay. So very simple. Long here, you times by six. Okay, we were waiting for and then times by six, right? So you get six x over six. Then you combine six x plus five x, eleven x, eleven x minus three over six. So this is actually combining it. We should do. Let me see. Ah, Minshira, you're back, eh? Okay, here we go. Let us do a little bit more challenging now. We'll start with. H. My suggestion is to use the bracket. To use the bracket. Okay, before we go, before we go, you look at H. Huh? You look at H. If you think you cannot do, I'll show you straight. Uh, Shafi can do? You think you can do? Inshira can do? Don't know. Uh, Ryan can do? Can do. Can do okay. I will show you. I'll show you one example. Okay, now this is how I recommend so that you do not make the mistake. Okay, let's say now for example, you have x over two minus. Let's say it's minus, huh? Uh, over six. Three x minus one. Let's see now what to do. Equal sign. Combine the thing, you times by 3, times by 3. Okay? Now, but you, okay, you get 3x over 6. This so far, okay? So far, both of, all okay, eh? Now, once you combine, you do this, eh? If this side, there's more numbers, you can bracket it up. If you want to, but there isn't, so even if you don't bracket, it's okay. But this side, you make sure you bracket. Because normally the students make mistake on this side. So now we're going to, we're going to remove the brackets. Huh? Down here now is over 6. Watch. Huh? Shafi, watch Shafi. Don't look at your sister. Don't worry about what they are doing. Minus times minus. A minus times plus equals to minus. See? 
this there, there's actually a number one here but we don't need to write so you say minus plus go minus 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 becomes plus one Inshira, you confuse this part Inshira, you confuse this part we uh, Ryan, are you confused this part? Uh, Shafi, are you confused? Mm, a little. Okay, then that means we have to go to more basic stuff. Minus 2, 7x minus 4y. How to do? This means this number times here, and then this number times here. Remember that the sign is always in front. This one, Ryan, there is no sign. What sign is here, Ryan? No sign means plus. plus. Minus times plus is minus. You learned that right last year? Yes. Yes, right. Inshira, you remember not? Yes, uh, minus. Minus. 2 times 7, 14. X. Minus times minus plus. <laughs> 2 times 4, 8. Y. Okay, right? So we do for this side now. We let us see. Yeah? We let us see down here. This one is minus times plus what? So we just copy 3x here. Yeah? Minus times plus, minus 3x. Because this is actually minus 1. But we don't write minus 1. You can just take the sign. Then minus times minus plus 1. Then we remove now the bracket. 3x minus 3x, 0 plus 1. 1 over 6, that's your final answer. Okay, you try now, you try now. Okay, remember, you have to believe in yourself. I'm looking at my hair, I'm just so, I feel like cutting it both out, man. But you know why I need to keep my hair? Because I'm doing some acting, so I need to play around my hair. In fact, tomorrow at 7 a.m., there's going to be a skit where I'm going to be a crazy Indian man. You can watch the skit if you want to. But remember, that's acting. Eh? I'm not the real person. Okay, you try this one. Try this one. Shafi, come on, Shafi, focus, Shafi. Who is that? Anika, stop disturbing her. Him. But Anika is in the wrong house. That means. Wrong house, lah. sorry, lah. sorry. Lah. Shafi, what's your younger sister's name? Um, Alia. Alia, where are you, Alia? Can I see you now, Alia? Alia? Uh, she's not here. Oh, not here. Oh, that was not Alia. So sorry. Anyone got an answer? Inshira, what's your answer? Not doing, still doing. I never finish it. Okay, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, all right, question number one. Shafi, what's answer? 
Okay, you have someone has sent me a message. Okay, let's see whether you're right later. Shafi, you got? Ryan, Ryan, can I see your working, Ryan? Show me your working. You all have the question, right? Okay. Show me, show me, show me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Hold on, let me just see now. What happened to the denominator? Disappear. Hey, hey, not fair. Like you suddenly. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, all right. Come, we will, we will show you now. We will show you, all of you. Okay, Shafi, can you do not? Shafi. Cannot. Okay. Here we go. Uh, watch. Uh. Now, the denominator, you cannot just cancel off, you know. You make the same denominator. Just like if you have 7, 9, plus 3, 5. What do you do? You must times by 9, times by 5, right? Same thing. Same thing. So you times this by, times it by 5. This one, you times this by 9. So if you times the bottom, you must times the top. This thing about multiplying, you must understand something. No, It's like a seesaw. Okay, now you put 10 kg here. This one, 5 plus 5 kg. Down here, you want times three times. You think you'll be balanced if you don't times? You must also times. Otherwise, the equation changes. Inshira, Inshira, focus. Don't listen to Zahira. Come, focus, focus, focus. With the last question. Last question. So you times this by five. You send you times this by nine. So you just put down here. In bracket is up. Put a nine. Okay, maybe I use a different color. You send bracket is up. You put a five. Can see, no? Okay, I'll, I'll put a use, use a different color. Bracket is up, you put a 9. This means 5 is being multiplied to them, 9 is being multiplied to them. So equals, equals, now you have 45, right? Four, 5 times 9 is 45, right? So you can, you can write down the whole equation here. 5, 7x minus 4 plus... 9, 8x minus 3. You can write like that. So what do you do after that? You times now. Now, now we times. 5 times 7. 35. Okay, 35x. Okay, good. Then 5 times 4. 5 times 4, 20. Plus times minus. Minus lah. Now. Okay, now the next one. 9 times 8. 72x. Plus times plus is plus. 9 times 3, 27. Plus times minus, minus over 45. Then remember what I did always that time? I grouped them together. 35x plus 72x. I get 107x. Then, utang $20. Utang $27. You must utang more money. Yeah? Please don't tell me. You, the other day I utang you $20. Then I borrowed today $27. Now utang you $7. Cannot be like that. Huh? You utang some money. Utang money. You must utang more money. Over 45 How? Shafi, are you okay? Shafi, just looking blankly. Are you okay? Can I, can I understand or not? Ryan, can I understand? Which part you don't understand, Ryan? Which part? Which part is confusing? Yeah. Don't tell me. Right from the first minute of the tuition session is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which part? Which part? Which part you find you find this part confusing? The, the second one. The second line. This one. Yeah. Okay. So this one, whenever you have, let's say now down here, I'm gonna. I'm going to just take it out. Okay, imagine there's no 45 on here. So you have 5, 7x minus 4. So imagine you're playing your game, like Misal. Misal, huh? Your time is on here. 5 times 7, number times number first, 35. X, uh, X. Uh. Then plus times plus must be plus. We don't need to write down here, right? Next one. 
5 times 4, 20. Plus, remember inside, in, there's nothing is plus, right? Plus times minus, minus. Then you go to the next one. Next one, same thing. 9 times 8, 72. X plus times plus. Plus, plus 72 X. 9 times 3, 27. 27. Plus times minus, minus. Utang $27, utang $20, you must combine the utang. Especially you borrow from Talong. Huh? Can you imagine? Huh? Minus $47. Minus $47. So this one, you have 35x, you have 72. You plus together, you have 107. Now it takes some practicing, but in class, what you do, you try your best in class. Trust me, it takes a little bit of time, you will start to improve. Okay, inshallah. Agree now, Anika? Do you agree? Setuju kan, Anika? Okay, we'll catch up again. I will send you guys the video. But can you send me your phone numbers or not? We create a group lah. Because I do, I think you're big enough. I don't need to communicate with your parents. I communicate with you, you direct, can? Okay, 9773-9441. You send me your phone number. We will create a group. Don't worry. It's only for math stuff. Okay, I won't disturb you other stuff. Okay, Anika, remember to send me here. Anika? Okay, all right then. Take care of yourself. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.